What's up guys and welcome to our first off-road adventure on our CRF 250Fs. Right, right? So we've been in this, this is Kroom. Um, for those of you that don't know, we've been here a few times with Heather's family. Um, so this will be our first time exploring it on our own. So we're probably going to get it lost, which is perfectly fine. So it's also been many, many years. It's been many, many years since we've been here. So we've kind of, kind of gotten the hang of these bikes, just getting a feel for them and things like this. So today will be like a real learning experience of actual off-road trail riding one, on these bikes. One big factor that is worth noting of Florida compared to probably where a lot of other people yeah, we got a lot of sugar sand here. Oh, they're gonna see it in today's video. So yeah, we uh, a lot of sugar sand out here in Kroom. Florida in general is a lot of sugar sand. You'll see like this not right here, not so bad, but up here, a lot of sugar sand. So we're just gonna be exploring today, having some fun, um, just getting the feel for the bikes, and uh, just having fun. So you ready? Let's go. Plow it, plow it, plow it. Use that tractor. John Deere CRF 250, baby. <laughs> ah. It's so much fun. Like, it's so so different because, like, we're so used to riding sport bikes that we're going so, so slow. I mean, we're going, like, maybe 15, 20, 25, 30 miles an hour, somewhere around there. And uh, it's just fun. What you doing? Just try to stay on a hard pack trail. You're good. You're doing great. Keep it up. All right, you're doing great. You're on camera though, so no pressure. <laughs> you're doing good. Keep it up. Go as slow as you want. Take your time. So you're not shouting at me to speed up? Nope. No, 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 back there I was telling you not to stop because if you don't stop in the sugar sand, just keep plowing. It's like a tractor. You just gotta keep going. Just to the left. Jump that tree. Just to the left. You ready? You want me to? You want me to lead you? Yeah. Look, when you get up to the tree, stand up. Right. Where's the tree? Right here. That little log. It's like four inches off the ground. Right. This log. Laying down. You're gonna go up over the hill, over the log. When you go over the log, right. <laughs> stand up. Give it a little bit of gas to get that front wheel over and then just let the back bounce over. You'll be fine. Just take it neat, take it nice and slow. Come on, let's see it. First, the whole way. <laughs> it was definitely a learning experience. Look at you go! <laughs> what is that for? Too easy for you! And you just did it, like no problem. Uh -huh. You're more capable than you're thinking you are. Keep at it. Alright, if you want to just, we can just stay on this hard pack trail right here. Go ahead. I'm following you. I don't know where to go. <laughs> That's the beauty. Let's see if she can jump that log too. You're doing great!
<laughs> deep, deep sugar sand. <laughs> it's like driving on ice. <laughs> Stand up! Making me panic! You need to stand up! You're I'm not... I'm on it babe, I'm not confident yet! That, your bike is digging into the sand when you don't stand up. You're putting all your weight on the back of the tire. Okay. You need to center your weight when you're standing up. Alright. You gonna go? No, I'm following you. Ah. I can't... Crit I can't critique you if I'm riding in front of you. <laughs> Not really trying to critique her, just trying to help her. Basically, the only thing I really see that she's done wrong so far is she's not standing up quite as much as she should. And I feel like she's a little tense, which is, you know, to, ex to be expected. I rode dirt bikes a little bit um, when I was younger. Like, not, nowhere near even intermediate rider, but I know, like, some of the basics. So, woo! <laughs> I know, like some of the basics, like hug the bike with your with your boots and things like that, and keep a tight grip on it with your lower body. There we go. There we go. We got some sugar sand. Plow it out. Use that tractor. Woo! Go this way. You're good. You. Just remember to remember when you're standing, grip the bike with your lower body. Your upper body needs to be loose. I'm not there yet. I'm excited. <laughs> I, I can tell you look like a damn statue going through there. <laughs> you're doing good though. Just just keep at it. I mean, you're doing good. It's all just a matter of seat time, so to say. Alright, you want to follow me or you want me to follow you? I'm going to follow you. Alright, I'm going to stay close to the truck since we're getting close to leaving. Alright. Woo! Okay. What did you think? I think I got to hang in the sand. <laughs> that was way better than that. Level. What worked for you in the sand? Well, it's everything you said. It's just big, it's getting the feel for it. It's yep. really getting up and basing. The bottom of the bike is really grabbing like through my calves. Uh-huh. Hugging the bike with your bottom. Yeah, so like stabilize, trying to stabilize the back end through that and then absorbing everything and then just staying smooth on the throttle for me, not like... Yeah. Yeah, so just keeping the momentum forward. But like towards the end, I just like kept my throttle on and I just stayed straight and it was great. <laughs> there was not one moment of like freaky, oh, I'm going to go into the fence now. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. That was good. I feel like that was just enough that like I'm ready to keep going for more, so I'm excited to come back. Oh, you're done? Oh, no. We can totally ride around here more. I want to see if this trail right here just goes... I think it follows the the um, whoops, right? I don't know for sure. I think that trail right there follows the whoops. It's a good thing that the GoPro's not on my helmet because there would be so much cussing. Specifically the same word.
I call that a success. I call it a success too. First Neither one of us went down. Either. Although we almost did about a hundred times each probably. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah, no, that was fun. <laughs> ah, so what do you think? It's a workout. Yeah, you're sweating pretty bad. How can you tell? Uh, I see it all over your forehead. Do you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goggles are... It's not the worst thing. No, it's not the worst thing. So, uh, what do you think? Was it a good move? Yeah. Fun? 100%. More fun than riding the street? More fun than riding the street, yes, for sure. More fun than riding the track, debatable, not really. No, I don't no. think so. No, but it's another <laughs> form of track that's really fun. It's really challenging. It's something new to learn and something to figure out and have fun with and, uh, plenty of risk to have ridiculous amounts of adrenaline and concern happening all at the same time. Yes. Thrill seeker for sure, I guess, if this is the, the position I like to be in. So if any of you out there have recommendations for places in Florida that we can go and ride trails such as we're doing right now, yeah. not like motocross tracks, but more so like trails, um, the less sugar sand the better. <laughs> but we have, here at Kroom, we have 2600 acres to ride in and we've probably only explored about 10 to 15 acres of it today so even that much. yeah hang on you got a little you got a little dirt on your nose there all right guys peace out ride safe and we'll catch you in the next one ride safe